What's going on guys? My name is James Connects and I am both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. A little while ago I picked up a binder full of Watsy Pokemon cards and we are about to go through every single one of them and see what the condition's like. I paid £160 for this binder and some other bits. The other bits are purely to resell. This is your personal collection. So without further ado, let's change the camera around and have a look and see exactly what I've got for £100. Okay, I think we're good to go. We've got some uh, penny sleeves from Mint Keeper, nice and cheap. And we've also got some Perfect Fit sleeves. So basically what I do is with um, the hollows that aren't really worth anything individually, I, I tend to actually just have them in a Perfect Fit sleeve and they go in their own binder because I just, I love the artwork. And if you was to whack out a binder full of a couple of hundred Watsy hollows, it's incredibly nostalgic. So first up is a Gyarados from base set. It's not mint, not by any stretch. There's a lot of silvering down the side there. A few marks on the front or massive nick on the back. But still, good start, good start. We'll have that. And what's on the back of it? We have a Ninetales, far from mint condition. That is, um, that's, that is played. That is quite played. But again, that's going to go straight into a perfect fit. Okay, that's going into the binder. Okay, next up is just a one uh, polyrath. And it doesn't look too bad. But then again, polyrath is one of those hollows, which it always looks good. Actually, you know, there's quite a few surface lines and the back is quite beaten up as well. If I can get one gradable card out of this, I'll be very, very happy indeed. This is a Hitmonchan. Nice big dent there. These have been in the same binder for the last 20-something years. So it was actually incredible. So I went to this guy's house and uh, he was having a clear out. Been in the same house for the last 20 or so years and he's having a, a clear out because he's moving. Blastoise, that's quite beaten up, but that is very nice to see. Back is quite beaten up as well, but still, it is very, very nice indeed. Put it straight into a perfect fit. And what's this one going to be? It's quite beaten up on the back. Lots of markings. We have a Machamp, because you can never have too many Machamps. So yeah, this guy was just having a massive clear out. I missed out on a load of Ghostbusters toys, which I'm quite gutted about because that'd been really nice to get my hands on. Uh, again, for a, a, a mixture of both reselling and personal collection. So we've got a Magneton. So I missed out on a fair bit. There was some, uh, some gaming stuff, which uh, the son had already taken and there was some left behind. That's cool. Oh, the back is actually quite good, apart from that little bit there. Apart from that, it's very, very good. Okay, that is beaten up. That has been through the wars. I'll turn on another light just in front of me there. Oh, and it's a Zapdos. Oh, that's a shame. I have actually looked through the uh, the folder once, but I don't remember what's on the other side of all of these. So we've got a Nido King. That's got silvering all the way around. Look at that. History. It's called history. But still absolutely fantastic to see. And we've got a Chansey. I think I actually pulled this out of a booster pack a little while ago. Lovely card. Then we've got the Venusaur, which is, that's very heavily played. That is very beaten up. But I love that artwork. Straight into the penny sleeve. Solar beam. What's the back like? Back is not too bad. I've seen worse, that's for sure. Uh, we have a, oh, a Kaferi. Another really hard card to grade in the set. But this is 100% not gradable. Because that is, that, that, that is beaten up, to say the least. A lot of these cards are. But it doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to the bottom of the uh, of the folder. We've got a Raichu from base, which is just uh, 
these these artworks are just my childhood personified back is terrible you probably find out a lot of these black marks are actually just chip off and what's on the other side the back is nice on that wow and it is it's a jolteon mark no there's markings up the top around the side uh the holophor itself in person doesn't look that bad just looking through the camera doesn't look that bad but i don't know if i can just oh you know what that might be i'm just looking at that holofoil pattern just to see if there's any scratching whatsoever but out of everything so far i mean the only thing that lets it down is that bottom edge it's definitely not a 10 i can see it getting a seven or an eight to be honest not that I am a professional pre-grader. I'm most definitely not. Alakazam. Another epic artwork. Fairly beaten up. Are we looking for also uh, fourth print? And we are looking for... What's the back like? Not that bad. Uh, obviously, Shadowless and First Edition. Vaporeon. Can you want the theme decks? Can't open up the, the sleeve. What's going on here? There we go. There's a lot of cards going into my binder, actually. I'm very, very pleased. I think I'm on my second binder of holofoils. Mewtwo, big old scratch there. Back is fairly beaten up as well. But you whack out a binder full of Wizards of the Coast holofoils and you tell me that your 10-year-old self inside is just not a little bit very very excited there we go that's awesome right that's one page done we're going to start off with a fossil ditto which again very very beaten up it's thumbprints which they look like they've been embedded on there quite hard with something and some of these oh, i can't get into that there we go Okay, the back of that, oh, I would say it's quite clean, but there's a big nick up there and up there and up there. First glance, that looked really nice. And it is a Dragonite promo. Got quite a few of those. That goes into a completely separate pile of non hollows. Well, that didn't quite go to plan. Unfortunately, the Pixel 5 has uh, this horrible habit of overheating, but we were on the Snorlax. And we've still not turned this over. And it is a Black Star promo Pikachu. Little fun fact, there is a version of the Jungle Pikachu with this background. If you find that, you are a very, very lucky person indeed. I've already got this one in my personal collection. But another one is never going to hurt. Uh, next up is, we've got a Clefairy from Jungle. Looking good. Actually, not that bad at all. Uh, again, it's not gradable, though. There's there's far too many markings on it. But it is still collection-worthy. We've got a Mew, from, a Mew 2 sorry, from the film release. Again, another non-holo to go into the non-holo binder. I think this might actually help me get on my way of completing another set. We might be able to complete another base set. But I am quite picky about the condition. We've got a muck from Fossil. Very nice to see indeed. So I presume this is going to be a non-hollow. And we have Recycle. Okay, we're getting to the cards that don't actually need to be sleeved. Pincer looking very, very beaten up. That is that is quite bad. <laughs> Put it straight into a sleeve. Lovely jubbly. Still, it would look absolutely amazing in a binder. And we have... Uh, Black Star promo number two, which is Electabuzz. Oh, I can't wait to get all these where they need to be. We have got an Electrode. Holofoil number two out of 64. Quite beaten up. But again, it's a, another fantastic card. Just all of the artwork is just, it's just so nostalgic. Okay, we've got a Mew, which means I'm fairly certain that the holofoil version will be coming up very, very soon on the back end. So 
pull out these cards. We've got a Fossil Haunter. I'm so glad they did a Haunter in a hollow foil back then. It just looks nice. It just it is wicked. We've got a Pokeball from Jungle. Okay, nothing to shout about there. Uh, we'll get rid of the Haunter. Next up, we do have a pre-release Aerodactyl. I know that uh, there's a few of these flying around at the moment. Admittedly, in a lot better condition than what this one's in. Back isn't actually that bad, but the, the front, it's, unfortunately, is heavily played. Fuji! Okay, last of this sheet, we have a Lapras. Uh, again, I'm fairly sure that came in one of the theme decks. So, as far as the old school holofalls go, quite common. We have a Gambler. Okay, next up. Okay, there's the holofall Mew. You can just about see it in shop. But we're going to start as we mean to go on. Uh, we're going to do the top, which is just common cards. And that's just on its own. We've got a pre-release Gyarados. Which is in fairly decent condition. It's actually in surprisingly good condition. Ah, uh, oh, there's a horrible nick at the top there. And there's another nick just down there. That's a shame. Uh, I love the holofoil pattern on this. Oh, it's just, that is clean as well I mean it's slight look at look at that at the bottom uh, every card there's going to be something majorly wrong with it I know there is that's an absolute nightmare still an absolutely beautiful card I would love to have it in a PSA 10 one day got an Arcanine Black Star promo number six uh, again a lovely artwork hits that nostalgia for me and then, this looks like it's all going to... Oh, no. I say it's all going to be bulk. We've pulled a, a Lapras. So, ah, yes. If I remember correctly. There is the odd rare card dotted throughout. We've got a Goldeen, Tentacruel, and a Rapidash. Tentacool and a Magma. Seedra and a Krabby. You can see back then, sleeves weren't really a thing. Horsey and a Kingler. Omastar and a Vaporeum. Got another rare. Lovely. I think we'll do a little roundup at the end as well of all of the cards that we actually got out of this. Look at that. That's, look at how clean that is. But what is it? It's a Sea King. And then we have the Omanite. Golduck and a Shelder. Psyduck and a Cloister. That is a nut. Actually, the commons are in good condition. They're in really good condition. Oddish and a Victory Belt, another rare. Getting straight into the perfect uh, fit. And. Oh, that's. That's very off center. That's. That's nice. Little nick down there, unfortunately. Oh, if that nick wasn't there, that that would have been. I would have graded that. Weeping Bell and a Gloom. Got a Vile Plume up here, and on the back is a Bell Sprout. Vile Plume going straight into a sleeve. We've got a Venonat on the back of that. We have an Execute, which means on the back of this one should be an Executor. No, it's a gold bat. Did we already do the executor? Maybe. We have a Venomoth non holo from Jungle. I'll give it a matter of time before my phone just starts to, to overheat once again. We've got a Zubat and a Nidoran female. Parasect. Nidorina. Paris. Ekins. Executor. Uh, they were going all the way around, weren't they? And an Arbok. Uh, these, uh, I've actually got a binder, not a binder, um, a storage box full of Watsy Bulk. And it looks like a lot of these will be joining the crew. Wiggly Tough, you see there's some markings there, probably from the binder. 
Scyther. I've actually got a holofoil version of this. First edition, Gem Mint 10. Absolutely stunning card. Not many Gem Mint 10s around, that's for sure. Wheezing and a Jigglypuff. That's possibly the worst looking card so far, that Jigglypuff. It's really beaten up. A Pidgeot. Oh, nice nostalgic artwork once again. Excellent. Next up we have a Pinsir and a Dragonite. I get that Dragonite would just look amazing in a holofoil. Just the colours in the background would look really, really good. So that's going to the non holo pile. We have a Butterfree and a Fero, both from Jungle. We've got a Spiro and a Meowth. Again, another Meowth to look out for is one with a golden border. Very, very rare. I tell you what, I need a new phone. Um, but I was saying, if you are lucky enough to come across a Meowth, the Golden Border, keep hold of it. You don't see very many of them around. So I just want to get the next couple of pages done, and then uh, I think I'll leave the rest of the recording until tomorrow. But we do have a Dodrio. Eevee. Eevee and an Eevee. No first editions. Ditto, which is a rare, and a Lickitung. The Ditto is in... Not bad condition. Still going into the binder no matter what. Uh, then the last two cards, we have a Persian and a Tauros. Right, it's a brand new day. So let's carry on opening up uh, and seeing exactly what's in this binder for the Pokemon cards. We've got a Geodude. We've got a Slowpoke. Graveler and a Kabuto. We have a first edition card, and it is a Golem in fairly decent condition. Okay, Sand Slash, Mankey, and a Haunter. That's a rare. That was unexpected. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Put that over to one side. Primeape and a Ghastly. We have a Slowbro and a Cubone, which evolves into a Marowak. So this should be a Slowpoke. No, it's a Raichu. Slowpoke might be the last card on the rear then, which would make sense. Raichu from Fossil. I do like the artwork of the old chunky Raichu. It's in fair good condition apart from the winding down the bottom. We have a Rhyhorn and... A Pikachu from Jungle. Rhydon and... Oh, a Mr. Mime. Another rare card. These rare cards just keep on coming. They're absolutely fantastic. Decent condition. Same bit of damage just down there as what was on the Raichu. Next up, we have an already half empty or three quarters empty binder. Uh, page we have a Jolteon from Jungle, followed by an Electrode Holofoil from Jungle. Oh, that front is almost good, apart from there's a little bit of uh, damage just up there. The back is not so good. You can see it's there damage all the way round. So that that's that page done. We've got some Darks. Team Rocket, my favourite set. We have a coughing. We have a dark hypno, which is in not bad condition. A bit of silvering down the side there, but still very, very good. Not going to knock that at all. What's this card? And it is a dark flareon, uncommon from from Team Rocket. We've got a ponyta and an oddish. Anything else? Magnemite and an Eevee. Dratini and a Grimer. We've got a Mankey, Rattata, Charmander and a Porygon. Muck and a Charmeleon. I know for a fact there's not a Charizard in here. So that is a Dark Alakazam. Another rare card. A bit whitening on the back. It's to be expected at the moment. Then I might cheat here and just turn the page. 
there's nothing to shout about apart from this one rare card, which is a Rainbow Energy from Team Rocket. Uh, and then there should be, let's go past all the tops cards because no one really cares that much about them. We have some more trading cards. So we're going to dive straight into it. Oh, this is all tripled. Uh, we have Gust of Wind. So we're looking for, see down the bottom here, it says 95, 96, 98. If it's a, it says 97, it is in fact shadowless. Because obviously you can't tell whether it is shadowless because of the, uh, the trainer card, of it being a trainer card. So that's the only way of telling. We have a an imposter oak. We've got a lass, which is a rare. I'm put that to one side. We've got energy retrievals. Nope, nope, nope. That's in quite good condition. Nope and nope. Put the lass to one side. We've got a Pokemon trader. Have we not had anything? Uh, no, 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 and no. You know what? We're not even going to bother checking any more trainers because it's just a bit boring, is it? No, you know what? I've said that, but that looks clean, which gives me hope that there's going to be something in here. And I forgot, Dragonair's a rare. It's another rare card for the pile. Absolute madness. Absolute madness. So we've got a couple of Machokes, nothing there. And a Pokey Flute, nothing there. We've got a lot of Ponytas. Ponyta, 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 Ponyta. Oh, that looks just clean. It's just clean, nothing else. Couple of bills, 96, 98s. No 97s. We've got potion, potion, potion. And energy removal, nothing there. Couple of diglets. Oh, and a potion, and a diglet, and a diglet, and a Pokemon breeder. That's a rare. My, my Shadowless collection is actually woeful, so I don't think I'm going to be getting any more today. But we do have another rare, which is Beedrill. This was uh, quite common back in the day, as it was in another one of the theme decks. And we have a Dugtrio, another rare. Lovely jubbly. Go straight into there. Weedles. Just two of those and an Electabuzz in fairly decent condition. Very nice. We do some go. Charmeleons, nope. And we have a Haunter, which is an uncommon. And we have Rattata, 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 Dugong. Then we have Ghastly and an Arcanine. Kakuna, Kakuna. Caterpie, Charmander, Charmander, Charmander. Oh my god, that's shadowless. I mean, it's beaten up. But it's, I'm going to take that. I can take that out right now. Oh, you don't see many wild shadowless cards. But there we go. That is a shadowless. Look at the difference. Put them side by side. It's bloody obvious. Oh, that's wicked. I'm genuinely really excited about that. As you may be able to tell, I'm uh, I'm filming this section straight after work. Uh, looks like our last hope, but it's a lot of my chops. No, nothing. Onyxes? No. Oh, you know what? I'm happy with just a one. Uh, then we've got some Neo cards, which I am determined to also complete this in Japanese, because it's far easier and far cheaper. And we do actually have a Holofoil which again is coming out and going straight into a sleeve. And then I've got a feeling I am going to put these cards away for grading. I think I've got to because, hang on, let's just get rid of everything underneath. Let's get rid of all of that. Now, I think these are quite clean. I think these are clean. I hope these are clean. I mean, if these have potentially been in the same binder for the last 20 years, there is a potential. That's incredibly miscut. Oh, but that does look 
good. It does look good. I think that is gradable. I really do think that is gradable. That's a potential off center grade. So that is going to go into a penny sleeve this time. Uh, and that's going to get ready for grading when PSA eventually opens. The Typhlosion as well. Let's have a look. There might be some damage just on the top of his head. I'm going to try and get the light to reflect off of it. Can you see it just there? Hang on. Just there, just on top of his head. But it actually, it looks like it's on where the light would be shining. So everything is coming from this side. It looks like it's a printing error more than anything else. But again, that is going to be put into the grading pile, which is getting bigger and bigger. Oh, that's nice. And then my favourite starter from this particular region is Meganium. Oh, it just looks good. That looks good. Look at that. Oh, is that a swell there as well? Oh, there's a swell. The card looks good. That is going off for grading once PSA is open. Right then. I'm going to have a little bit of a tidy up and then we're going to go through all of the rare and holofoil Pokemon cards. First up is the three Japanese cards which are all going to go off for PSA grading. Very nice. And then everything else is going to go into a binder of either holo or non holo And then eventually, if the, uh, the quality deems it worthy, they will make up other sets as well. Haunter, Electro, Dugtrio, Beedrill, Dragonair, Electabuzz, Dark Alakazam, Jolteon, Mr. Mime, Raichu, Pidgeot, Electabuzz, Mew, Victory Bell, Vaporeon, Lapras, Scyther, Wigglytuff, Venomoth, Vileplume, Plume, Pinsa, Dragonite, Arcanine, Mewtwo, Pikachu, Dragonite, and Ditto. And then the Holofoils, Dark Hypno, Electrode, Snorlax, Clefable, Pinsa, Haunter, Aerodactyl pre-release, Lapras, Dark Gyarados pre-release, Mew, Electrode, Muck, Kangaskhan, Ditto, Mewtwo, Vaporeon, Alakazam, Jolteon, Raichu, Clefable, Clefairy, sorry, Venusaur, Chansey, Nidoking, Zapdos, Magneton, Machamp, Blastoise, Hitmonchan, Poliwrath, Ninetales, and Gyarados. And there we go, that's the whole binder done. That cost me £100 and I could not be happier. But that's it from me. As always, thank you for watching. If you want to see how I afford to buy all this stuff, uh, have a look at the, the reselling content on this channel. Um, it would be well worth the watch, in my opinion. But that's it from me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you lovely lot in the next video. Peace.